So, if you, if you were just to tell me, let me just ask you why they're so important. Why the I'll interview important? you. I'll interview you while you interview me. <laughs> okay, good. <clears throat> we're, we're talking about the iPhone here, the iPhone, and I think that they're very important. I think they're most important. I think they're the tool that everybody should have, and there's a whole bunch of reasons why. Huh. One of them is it has graphic capabilities. It yeah. can film. Yeah. And it has uh, it can com communicate. It can keep all your records beautifully. You can carry it with you. Yeah. And um, it is, in terms of social media, it is the raw tool. Mm -hmm. Social media, if you haven't discovered yet, is like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> or Mohammed. Yeah, there's sort of a messianic, you know, fervor that, that people, you know, fall into when they talk about things like social media and iPhones. And maybe just having been preached to a lot as a youngster, I... I find myself kind of digging my heels in, you know, um, or resistant to this idea that somehow this thing is going to fundamentally change humanity in some way that, you know, is is truly significant. There's and, uh, two things. There's two. I things. mean, they're, they're, you know, like the telephone came along whenever that came along, and I suppose that changed the world to a certain extent. And maybe this is just another extension of that. I don't know, but um, it's one of the major steps. But this is, this is um, what's happening here is a form of tetrahedron. <laughs> and you are one of those points. You may be the center of it because you're the human um, being who um, is building through that device, mm -hmm. using that as a tool, like, like fire, to communicate and to build community. Mm -hmm. It's social. And that's what's interesting about it. It builds mm -hmm. community. Could you could you just couldn't you make the argument just to be sort of that's okay uh, that it's it's really really antisocial because it it, it it it's sort of connecting people that don't exist in space with one another so that it's, it's taking all this potential social energy that people have and instead of connecting sort of locally or right here you're you're, you're just connecting all these people all over the world and taking this sort of virtual community which in some ways I think you have. Well, you just I mean, defined it. You just defined it, except you saw it as bad, and others see it as brilliant. And but let me. I'm not doing all that. I'm not, I don't want to go so far as to say it's bad. I'm just. No, no. I feel like I'm trying to keep it in the perspective of just being sort of neutral about it. Is right. it possibly neutral about this thing? That it's just. Yeah. Sure, you it's are just right something now. Something you carry. You your claim neutrality. <laughs> You're claiming neutrality, but that's it, with ignorance. I mean, look, there's no doubt. I mean, you know, me and my nine-year-old. Huh? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> my nine-year-old son Gordon and I, you know, would have equal fascination with the thing, and he would love to hold this thing and play. May with I it. just say, by two. Buy two. One for him. One for him. He'll one for you. you. And he'll teach you. I'm serious. I'll get one for your wife. I'm serious. No, get three wife, of them. My wife milks cows. She's not gonna. She, she <laughs> doesn't want anything to do with this thing. So my, my my wife is. All right. This is a woman. Do you, do you want to put this on camera? Go, <laughs> <laughs> my wife graduated from Harvard in 1989. She's never sent an email in her entire life. <laughs> and she moves cows. <laughs> and she moves Well, I honor her, and she is one I of our. I do too. She is like like the Let me oracle. Tell you, she's like the oracle. She we is go to the her. Oracle. We go to she her. She is. Okay, good. That's she's what I. She's who I think of when you tell me that this thing is like Jesus. So she is I the oracle. She's out in the shed every morning with Agnes. Oh, and I think Agnes. to myself. Soft you know, Agnes. what is the really the reality of this thing? Soft, Soft gentle Agnes. Agnes. Oh man. <laughs> hey. So. So I don't know. I mean, I, I hear but you. I mean, they do me, seem fun and they seem useful. They also seem like it's something you could do without too. I mean, I, I just love that. And tell me your name. My name's Gary. Clark. Gary, and you're from Johnson. I'm from Johnson, Vermont. Vermont. That's right. And, I'm, I'm, and I, I just is, met Jimbo here. And, and we so, are reporting for Roger Smith Live. 